All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So today we're going to be addressing two of the most key questions in the game Unturned, which is a free-to-play game which has the charm of Minecraft and its simple graphics and the fun kind of survival zombie apocalypse elements of DayZ. Although it's rather simple, but incredibly addictive. So the first question we're going to be asking is where's one of the best places to kind of create a starter base? Well, I believe at Wiltshire Farm, and you can see the red X on the map where I'm at. The reasons being is because first off, this has a supply of water. Now you can see that I'm thirsty. I have a canteen, which can be easily crafted. And then you can refill your canteen at the well, unlimited, and you don't have an issue with biohazard. So that's one of the reasons. The second reason is it's got arable farmland, which you can grow crops, as you can see here. So we will, let's see, we're going to craft this in the seeds. And then I'll show you how there's a little bit of difference. Fertile soil, infertile, infertile soil. So it's nice that it has crops. One thing to be aware is a zombie or two will spawn around here, and if you don't kill them, um, they will go into a frenzy mode and chew up lots of your crops, especially if they're not barricaded. Now, thirdly, why I think Wiltshire Farm is such a good spot is because of this right here. The white thing in the background is unlimited gasoline. So you can see here, my car is empty with gas, and you can simply fill up your gas tank as often as you want. So that's pretty nice. Now the second question we're gonna be covering is how to build a house. Now, w when it comes to building a house, you're gonna need to have the first craftsman skill completed. So, and that is 50 experience points. So it's not too bad. You know, after a little bit of time in the game, you should be able to get a craftsman experience. Although I think the first essential skills you're gonna want is probably one or two in survival which diminishes the rate at which you dehydrate and starve to death, which is why I think that as a beginner, food and water are the greatest shortage. So that's why Wiltshire Farm is such a good spot. Furthermore, the loot around here, you can often find seeds and ammunition. Now you can see I kind of moved in here, but there's a seed back there. Stuff will often spawn um, up here as well. Swift mags for colts more seeds so you should be able to find enough food within the farmhouse in terms of seeds that after a while can grow and you can also find some basic loot like um, some basic melee weapons I found a chainsaw in here um, seeds and more swift mags you find colts shotguns stuff like that civilian type loot and you find some good food loot as far as seeds are concerned but now when it comes time to building a house we're gonna cover the basics when you chop down a tree you're going to get two basic resources, logs and sticks. Now, when you chop down trees, and you can see I've chopped down a couple in the, in the background there, one thing to keep in mind is that you're going to get a lot more logs than you are sticks. And when you get a log and you craft it, you're going to get four boards. So basically, if you think about it, you're going to have a lot more boards than you will sticks. And sticks are kind of like the limiting reactant. So one of the tools that can help you in this process is the handsaw. Now, the handsaw basically allows you to split a board into sticks. When you put the handsaw on this little crafting icon there, or your tools icon. So that allows you to get a lot of sticks. Otherwise, this process is extremely long and extremely tedious. Also, when you're chopping on trees, you may find something called a branch. Well, a branch is simply crafted into more sticks. So branches are nice little finds, but the handsaw will make your first house's construction when it comes time to cutting down the trees much, much quicker, considerably quicker. So you're definitely gonna wanna try to find a handsaw. Now, to chop down trees, you're going to want to use an axe. A fire axe is not as effective as a normal axe, and a chainsaw is a little more effective than an axe. 
um, because when you do an ax, you have to individually click for each swing, whereas if you have a chainsaw, all you have to do is hold it down and you'll chop down the tree. So now that we've covered the basics, we're going to be basically building a little, you know, a single house, a little guest house right here from the ground up. So first you're going to need a foundation and a foundation is crafted from three wooden frames. Three wooden frames are constructed from six plates, which are constructed from 12 boards. So here we're going to get our wooden frames and craft the foundation. As you can see, foundation, we're going to equip it and then it's going to give us this green box. This is where the foundation is going to be placed. So we're going to build a little guest house here and we're going to put it right here. All right. So now that we have our foundation, we're going to want the pillars, right? So pillars are constructed from supports, two supports and one board. So here we'll craft it real quick to show you and boom, you got yourself a pillar. Now we're going to get the, so basically to have as, but we're going to need a couple supports. We're going to need, or excuse me, we're going to need four pillars to put around here and I'll show you here. So we're going to need four pillars to put out on the frame of the foundation. But you're also going to need pillars to produce walls. So we're going to pick up some of the extra pillars. And I believe we're going to need four because we're going to have four walls. So we'll bring them over here and a wall is constructed from for each wall section, you're going to need two frames and one pillar. So here we're going to need, and remember that frames are constructed from two plates. So here we're going to take the four pillars and the eight frames, and we're going to produce four different walls. All right, so now we have four walls. Now, real quick is you're only gonna wanna use three because obviously you're gonna wanna have a door. Now, as you can see, you kinda just move your mouse around and you'll get this green lock-in icon. So, we're gonna put in three. If you were to put in one here, we would be locked in, but we're gonna wanna make a door. So to make a door, you're gonna want one wooden wall and one wooden support. And a wooden support is just, um, two sticks. So here we're going to craft the doorway. So this, this isn't too bad. So now that we have the doorway, we're going to need to make a door. And to make a door, we're going to need one wooden frame and bolts. Bolts you cannot produce. You have to find them. Generally, they're found in cities. They're found all over the place. Um, so you're going to have to scavenge for them. And a frame comes from two plates, which comes from four boards. Once you get that, you're going to be able to produce a door. And here we're going to craft it in the menu, drag the bolts, drag the flame frame, and you get the door. So we're going to put this door on this house. This is a little more finicky. Press F. We got ourselves a working door. Now the last thing is we're going to need a roof for this house. And that's produced using a platform. And a platform is produced from three wooden plates and one wooden cross. And a wooden cross is produced from two supports. And a plate is produced from two boards. So you're going to need six boards and two, uh, two supports, which comes from, I believe, four sticks. So we're going to craft the three plates and the one cross to get the foundation. You can see that the, this, uh, the crafting system is kind of tedious and actually rather detailed. So here we got ourselves a platform. We're going to need, where is it? Huh. All right, so after playing around, we basically have to go to the front of the door and you can see through the doorway, there is that green coloring. So now we have ourselves our very own little house. 
So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to make the most basic building right now. And the question's asked, you know, what can you do with bases? And do you really need a base over if you were going to kind of just garrison up like a farmhouse or a, a pre-constructed building in the game? You can barricade these things up and they're pretty cool. But I think when it comes versus player versus player, you're going to want houses. Now, if you want to see a cool example of a pretty epic style house, you can see one in this upcoming gameplay where myself, Wade, and DLive visited DLive's base. Now, if you want to check out that series, which is a multiplayer series, click the annotation below and it will link you to that episode where you're going to see a pretty cool example of a base. And if you want to see some fun gameplay, multiplayer gameplay on Unturned, check the other annotation below. Anyway, my name is Baron. I thank y'all for watching. This video actually took a lot of time to kind of preset in terms of chopping down trees, building these chests to kind of make it as simple as possible. So a like and a share would be most appreciated and they greatly help me out. Anyway, if you have any more things that you want to learn in Unturned, let me know in the comments below what I should do next. Because I think this is going to be a fun series where I learn and I can teach you guys as well. Anyway, as always, my name is Baron, and I thank you all for watching. Catch you all next time. There's so many things in here. Wooden posts. <laughs> is there a method to like this a, madness of storage? Uh, it starts off with weapons on this side. I think I have almost every weapon. I don't have all the magazines. I have some candy bars I'm gonna drop. I don't Actually, I think it starts It starts off with attachments over here, back door. Canned beans. Wait, you're bent over and you're telling me to get in your back door? Oh, that's <laughs> I'm very not bent up. Yeah. Never mind. Sorry, back, I was with the wrong person. Back door starts weapon attachments and it goes, uh, guns. I've got some moldy milks. But you're not allowed to take anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just took something. We'll get you. What you, what what you, you gonna take? do about it? What you take? Well, if you take, don't take if something's only one, because I want to have everything. Nope, I'm taking all the things <laughs> that are only one.